Hello and welcome to Would Ya, the show where we pair two eligible bachelors who have been unlucky in love with these three lovely ladies and ask them, Would Ya? These are the types of guys who've had to ask their sisters to go to the devs with them. The types of guys who've watched Love Actually one too many times and spent one too many Valentine's Days eating chocolate dipped in Nutella. These, types of, these are the types of ladies who have been fecked around by lads one too many times and want to be treated like an absolute princess, so these are the guys for the job. So to kick things off, we'll introduce you to our three lovely ladies. First off, from Frances, it's Odile. Hello, my name is Odile, I am 21 and I come from Paris. And I speak the language of love, of course. Well, if that doesn't turn these boys on, I don't know what will. So, do you, uh, what do you look for in your ideal man? Tall, dark, and <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome. She doesn't ask for much, does she? Well, hopefully, when we ask her the, the age-old question of would you, she'll be saying hell to the yeah. What else, Miss Megan Fox? Yes, you heard right. Our budget is that high that we have the one and only Megan Fox in studio. What do you think, Meg? What do I look for in a man? Yeah. Um, looks don't matter to me. As long as you've got a bright personality, you can make me laugh. I'll be happy out. And tell us a bit about yourself. So uh, this show actually marks my 20th dating show. Um, I've been very unlucky before, but I'm feeling lucky tonight. Well, fingers crossed for Miss Maggie Moo that she transforms herself into a fantastic relationship. And last but not <coughs> least is Eve without Adam. So Eve, tell us a bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Eve. I'm from the country, not from the city. Um, I'm 19 and I'm looking for a man. And what, what would you look for in a guy that would tempt you to reach for that apple and mm. eat it? Hmm. I don't know. I guess he has to be tall, clever. Um, I suppose like a bit of like country background would help as well, do you know? Like you can't raise a family in the country or in the city. <laughs> well, they don't ask for much our girls, do they? Lol. So, like, you know, you just think you'd just be happy with Beck and Megan over here at 20th dating show. At this stage, I think she'd date a stick man, but no, standard's still high. Anyway, moving on swiftly, we have our first guy, which is Jack. And before we bring him out to the studio and place him before these beautiful ladies, we brought him out to the streets of Grafton Street and asked the people, would you? So here you go. Would you? No. <laughs> All right, why not? Um, I don't like his teeth. Um, he kind of looks brutal. a bit greasy. No. No? All right. Why not? Because it's just really pose. It's kind of He's hard. a bit of a poser. You yeah. Pants. Yeah. Right. Would you, would you with that guy? You think he's handsome? Not really. No? No. All right. What's wrong with him? So well. I don't like the hair. You don't like the hair? The no. hair's a big thing. Would you? No. And why not? I'd be brutal. Be it's just, oh, <laughs> the, the teeth and the ears. The I feel ears. really bad, but yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no. No. All right. What's wrong with him? Yeah, he has. Yeah, pretty smile. Yeah, it would be okay if the hair was not that long, but All right, it's so okay. You, yeah. You shave his head first. Yeah. All right. What about him? Yeah. Well, he. Do you know the movie Superbad? Yeah. Yeah. He looks like McLovin. You think this guy is handsome? Um. Yes, he would be. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he would be. Yes. Eek. Poor old Jackie Chan got a bit of stick in that. Less like Mac Lovin and more like Mac Hayton, if you ask me. I think he kind of seemed like a nice and decent enough guy. What do you think, guys? Ah, uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. It sounds terrible. This I is just, I mean, I don't know. This is before we've even met the guy. No, I think he'll be cute. I think you have to give him a chance. You can't judge a book by its cover. This is what the show is all about. You can come out here, show who he really is. Yeah, me, no? yeah, definitely. I think Megan definitely knows the sus because this is her 20th show, so yeah. she knows to give everybody a chance. <laughs> I know how it goes. But, you know, Kick, you have right to kind of... <laughs> I really Kick do. You have to just like give everybody like a bit of time to defend themselves. You Absolutely. Know? So without further ado, we introduce Mr. Jack O'Higgins. <laughs> Take a stand here on the podium. Oh, well, look at this very formal. Are you watching this, guys? So, Jackie Chan, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm uh, 19. Uh, I study in DIT doing film and broadcasting. Uh, I grew up on a farm, you know, a lot of, uh, lot of uh, working the hay and stuff like that. Yeah. They, call, they call me Clark Kent 
you know, yeah, because I was like, you know, a ta you small like ten boy, but like strength as well. Like I'm seriously ripped. That's good. Uh, what I no, I actually don't really. Do you have a license for those guns? Uh, I do actually. Do you have your name them, Dan and Jer? Uh, no, they're called AK-47. I thought you were talking about the ones back at the farm, because, like, yeah, I'm the oh. farm boy. Oh, well, look at this. Yeah. He's got guns <laughs> of yeah. two cans, ladies. I'm warming up already, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, Eve over there is mad for a bit of Adam's yeah. apple, aren't we? Yeah. Or more like Jack's apple, eh? Yeah. Right, so moving on swiftly on, this is the part of the show where our lovely ladies get to ask <laughs> you two questions each. And the trick is that you have to be as brutal Okay. Brutally honest as possible. We can sense if you're lying, Jack, so complete honesty is essential. Of course. So, Miss Frances over here, kick it all off and ask Jack what you what really want to know. What are your worst habits? My worst habits? Uh, well, I smoke. So, you're French, you'll know all about that. Yeah, but I don't like smoking. Oh, really? No. Ooh, that's, that's shocking, because I assumed. Oh, um, yeah. It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> um, of what else are my worst <laughs> habits? I'm like, people tell me I'm too caring. Like I'll keep, be, I'll be too nice to people and they'll just be like, Jack, maybe you should just like tone it down a little bit. That's, That's like kind of what one, of worse, my, so. one of my worst habits, I would say, yeah. Oh, do you, next question? Do you go to mass? Oh, straight uh, to the mommy question. Of course I go to mass. Mass is like the highlight of my week. And what's your favorite hymn? Ah, so hard choose so hard to choose are you an our father or a hail mary kind of man <clears throat> that's like choosing children you know mm. like they're both so good so it's so good. hard um i'd go with our father Ooh, by, how do we feel like that okay. pass, yeah. pass the, the, the wedding test okay that's good that's good moving on to miss megan fox yes you heard right mm. meg kick it off so jack clearly i've been unlucky in love before that's why i'm sitting here so, I've come across many guilty <coughs> pleasures. So, straight up, I want to know yours. Hold on a minute now. She's come across many guilty pleasures. <laughs> I think this begs the question, Megan Fox. Can you please name us one of these guilty pleasures? I retreat. Well, not my own, but like yeah, in previous years. Yeah, 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 take it back now. No, I found weird, weird kind of magazines, you know, like lying around the house. I'm a God-fearing <laughs> boy. There's nothing like that. <laughs> nothing like that with me. I hope not. Uh, why are my guilty pleasures? I do love Kylie Minogue. I do love Kylie Minogue. What's your Minogue. best rendition? God, no. Right now? No, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to get a date. Not okay, like, fair enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll let this yeah, one slide. Yeah, thank you. Moving um, on to question number two, Maggie. Um, also, just to make sure that this could go somewhere, I'd like to know, have you ever cheated on someone? <laughs> straight, straight oh. to it. Brutal honesty. Because I think it doesn't, like, you know, honesty uh, is the best key. Yeah, it is. We were all 15. We were all 15. That's Tara, you look me in the eye and say, at 15, you never. Listen, look I'm, me, oh, no, no, look me I'm in the saving eye. my first kiss for marriage, Jack, so. You Your first kiss? My first kiss, my first everything. Wow, wow. Yeah. I thought I you was know, You know, Lady Gaga, do what you want, what you want with this body. Yeah. Well, my rendition is, don't do what you want, <laughs> what you want with this body. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you cheat with? Give us the dirty details. It was just, I'd like, it was like one girl, and then I, like, got with another girl at the time but it was like totally innocent it was just like a kiss it doesn't sound like a church boy to me <laughs> well obviously <laughs> like how right you are Odile. we all make mistakes that's when jc gets us through it afterwards you know that's when i turn to god yeah and well, hail bailing yeah maybe god saved him he Eve. did i don't know it's debatable that answer um mm. um what is your best joke that's my best joke. Just like even a knock joke. A knock joke? A knock joke? A knock joke. A knock knock joke. joke. <laughs> um, God, I'm going to sound so much like my dad here. Um, knock knock. Who's there? I can't remember a knock knock joke. Jesus I, Christ, lads. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's just time. like all my jokes, you know, like, I, you know. Okay, well, listen, do you want me to take one for you? Yes. Okay, I'll pretend I'm Jack now. Is this like the egg one? The okay. egg one? How do you know my egg joke? Oh, you told it to us beforehand. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, guys, <laughs> my egg joke. Why did the egg scream when it was cracked onto the frying pan? Why? Tell I us. don't know. Because his yolk was hanging out. <laughs> that's yes. that's yeah. great. Yeah, it's, I'm, it's that bad. I'm glad mm. I didn't. Right, didn't well, joke. on that note, we're moving swiftly on, Jackie Chan will ask you to exit. And before we bring on our next eligible guy, 
We're going to kick off to the streets of Grafton Street, the streets of Grafton Street, the streets of Dublin, to Grafton Street, and see what the people thought of our next guy, Mr. Cormac Dunn. We're on the streets of Dublin today to find out what the ladies think of our lovely contestants. So let's go. Would you date this guy? Uh, probably not. I, from the look of him, he looks a bit too showy for my taste. A bit too showy. Show. Yeah. What about this guy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and why not? <laughs> because he looks dirty. This guy, would you date him? Probably once. Why just once? <laughs> I don't think he'd call me again. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys date this boy here? Yes. yes. <laughs> Can you tell me why? He's six pack. <laughs> <laughs> Shirtless photos usually turn me off, I guess, because <laughs> they may be a little full of themselves. Yeah, okay. And what about yourself? I personally think topless photos are great, but <laughs> I agree with her on the seems a little hot headed. A bit like try hard, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Just don't like the tattoos. Yeah, I'm not mad about the tattoos. Yeah. But yeah. if he had no tattoos, he'd yeah. be really good looking. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think I'm a little bit turned on by that guy, Mr. Cormac Dunn. Hello there. How are you? Nice so, um, ladies, first off, what did you think of Mr. Cormac's BT? Very, Very impressive. impressive. Oh, <laughs> well, look at this. Compliments all round. <laughs> so you. tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, well, my name is Cormac. I'm 19 years old. I've uh, been living in Dublin my whole life, city boy. Um, let me see. I played rugby as a child, then uh, got injured, and now I just sit at home. Oh, well, that's and the whole yeah, story. There you go. That's it, really. So um, I think it's kind of right if we ask about this big elephant in the room. What's the crack with the helmet? Oh, yeah. oh sorry. Uh, my bad. Yeah, it's just I always like to wear protection. Yeah. It's like. Ladies! <laughs> you can never be too sure. True keeper. So, Cormac, what do you look for in a girl? Sitting in front of these lovely ladies, make sure you don't insult them while you're at it. Well, um, just, you know, if they're good people, I guess, at, at heart, that's the most important thing. Um, they just like to, you know, have a, have a laugh, not too serious. And, um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the most important, I think. Okay, very cute. Yeah. Cute. So it's come to part of the show now again where we ask the ladies what they would like to know about Cormac Dunn. So kicking it off again with Odile Long from France. What would you like to know about Cormac? What is your most embarrassing story? And do you have any land anywhere in Ireland? Ooh, ooh straight to the point. Any land? Immigration's after, uh, apparently. Well, <laughs> land. No, well, you see, I was born in a city, sitting, living there in Mahola. Oh, wait, sorry, no, I forgot. Uh, my, my, uh, my grandmother died and left me 17 hectares of land down in County Monaghan, and uh, I have never been there. Holy done. moly, yeah, so just 17 done. acres just, of land just there. Just lying there, my name to it. And I have uh, suddenly become a contestant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's yours, you know, if, if you want. Um, then, embarrassing story <laughs> would be, uh, well, there was this one time, it's pretty bad, really. I was uh, a few few drinks in town, As you do, cycling, like. cycling home, and um, I crashed into this poor woman in front of me, and uh, <laughs> she was most displeased. Uh, and was it obvious <laughs> that you were drunk? I, I don't think so, no, but then... I was drunk, so... <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Are you satisfied uh, with those answers, Odile? Very good, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Yes. Oui, 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 oui. I think oui. she's happy about the land. Very. Road frontage? Plenty. As far as I'm told, yeah. And the most important question, obviously, with all this fucking shite going on with water at the moment, do you have a well, or is it all by mains? Um, yeah, I'm afraid it's going to hit the, hit the pocket a bit now, this coming, coming year. But uh, we could always sell the land, you know, and get, get the money back. That's true. Yeah, mm. 17 very hectares. Good, very good idea. Oh, mm. well, that, yeah. looks like you've, you've been a deal hard anyway. <laughs> <Ba -dum> <laughs> <laughs> Maggie Moon, your turn. What would you like to know about Mr. Cormac Dunn? Mr. Right, Protection. Cormac, I would like to know about your most awkward kiss and most why it was awkward. Kiss. Oh. Um, most awkward kiss. Let me see. Yeah, let's go, go back to some time ago uh, when it was actually... It was actually uh, I, <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't see her. I, it was in a you know a nightclub. Um, I don't mean to sound racy, but I couldn't see her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where so is he going with this? <laughs> this, is a, this is a family show, Carmen. Is it really? Okay. Uh, sorry. I'm very, I apologize, everyone. Right. But, uh, so um. Yeah. That that happened, and okay. we should never repeat that again. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll,
My next question would be, I know I sound paranoid, but I want to make sure, have you ever cheated on someone? Megan has been on this show 20 fucking times. If she doesn't get a date today, I swear to God, I'm going to date her myself. So if you've cheated, you can shoot. Well, there's been no one to cheat on, so uh, no Aww. is the answer. Okay, yeah. that's good. Good answer. Good. Meg's happy. Very what happy. about you, Eve? Okay, two questions. What do your tattoos mean? I saw in your tape that you have tattoos. Oh, Didn't we all? And secondly, when was the last time you had a shower? Last time? Okay. Well, uh, tattoos first. So Whip them out. Okay. Get the guns out. Show you. Will I take the mic for a sec? Yeah, thank you. So. Ooh la la. Woo um, Well, we got here uh, Big C. Big so C. It's just, uh, sorry. Uh, Big C. It's just, um, I don't know, nickname. And where they come arrived, from? Arrived. Uh, just this girl on my course kept going, Big C. Like, and is exactly there, like are that. you called Big C for a reason? I, well, there's there's also a baby C, so I don't know. It's like, so differentiate. Not, differentiate. Was there, maybe. was there a lady that called you Big C? No, no. It's just, just a thing that happened. Ladies, can Big we C. all say Big C? Big, Big C. C. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like uh, Mr. Cormac is turned on, or should I say Big C? Then we got Mom, because Mom. Cute. Yeah. Cute. That's lovely. Always, always there in the heart. Mm. Um, on your arm. A cross. Religious ordeal? Are we seeing sure. this? Land yeah. on religious? Yeah. This is the guy for you? Uh, there's, there's like a little stick girl, if you can see that. Oh, is that the lady of your dreams? Yeah, she's and not really who? defined much, so you have, you know, it's very and broad. Who, who? I, you know, I'm, I'm open to anyone. Oh, basically. and who do you think would match the stick woman the most? Now, easily, how you say this? We're not calling the other two fat, we're just saying that this one is resemblance, resemblance to this. Uh, I'm gonna have to say Megan, I don't know. Aww, Megan like Fox. Fox. Yeah, Megan Fox. Hopefully this will hmm. be Megan's lucky show, I repeat. Hopefully Number this 20. will be Megan's ho lucky show. Okay. Radio, so, well, uh, your second question. Well, you've uh, asked two questions. Yeah. Did I answer both? Oh, no. no. Yeah, what was your second question? Shower. Yes. Shower. Uh, no. Brutal honesty. It's been a while, can I say. Uh. Yeah. Eek. Can you not smell? Okay. Listen, I didn't Lynx. want to say anything, but... Yeah, I got a whiff Lynx from here. Lynx is like sharing a can. That's usually my... Is, if, does that count? Sharing a can? No. No, no it no. doesn't. Actual <laughs> actual water on the skin. Uh, <laughs> gonna say... 137 hours. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That is kind of dirty, minutes. but you can work with that. Yeah. Can you really? What's the need for I mean, protection when he smells like that? It's kind of like I, enough protection as I it is. Okay. It's like no one come within 10 feet of me. <laughs> uh, double protection. No need for condoms or helmets. Yeah, do triple protection. Yeah. At least, at least mom will be happy with that yeah, on happy. your arm. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, um, it looks like Cormac has been received pretty well other than the smelly factor, but... You're lucky you're not in my position because you're nice and far away and you can just smell the whiff of each other because right now... She's dying. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> time to move on to our final part of the show where you lucky ladies get to choose between our two eligible bachelors. So we'd like to bring back on Jackie Chan. Mm. Woo -woo -woo. What's up, Jack? Hello. Oh, oh. Okay, well, it looks like we have a bit of rivalry right here. Nope. No? No, no, no. Okay, well, without further ado, it's time for our lucky ladies to pick one of you beautiful men. And what's going to happen here is, obviously, there's three ladies and two guys. So if the three ladies pick one guy, then one of you is going to have to go home empty-handed. If two ladies pick one, then you get to ask the question. So you'll get to ask one question to whichever girl, whichever girls pick you. And if one girl picks you and no one else picks you, then you get to walk out to the rest of your lives. What if three... Um, it's not gonna happen. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, um, Odile, who would you choose? And well, why? no offense to Jackie Chan because he seems like a very nice boy, but I will have to go with Cormac, not because he doesn't wash or anything, but uh, just because of the lung. So, yes, I'm going to go with him all the way. So unmaterialistic of you, Odile. <laughs> Maggie Vox, what well, would you think? This makes me feel very happy because from the moment I saw him, Jack had this sparkle in his eye. I think I think he's the one. I think I can feel it in the air. Yes, true. How mm. cute, Jack. Megan's twentieth show. Megan's twentieth show. Right, Eve. Mm. Now, as much as you could throw or like hose down Cormac, now I can kind of start to smell him from here. The heat, <laughs> these lights, is ridiculous. Um, but I'm gonna have to say Jack as well, simply because I just love a good farm boy. Do you know? 
Well, Mr. I'm going to get three over here looks like he's walking away with Mrs. I want land. So good luck to the rest of your lives, lads. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well done, well done, well done. Well done. <laughs> Must be love. Love, love. It just makes me all emotional. Brings me right back. Radio Jackie Chan, it's now your turn to choose between these two girls. So we have the beautiful Megan Fox and the beautiful Eve Murray. Fabulous as ever. So you get to ask them one question. Any question you want, you can dig right into the depths of their personality. So what would you like to know? Are you a dog person? Of course. I have a Labrador. His name is Cooper. He's five years old and he's almost practically my best friend. <coughs> that sounds beautiful. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Eve? I am an all animal person. I have a dog as well. Her name is Nancy and she's a little terrier. And although I hate her most of the time because she hates me too, we do get on like bread and butter. Do you know what I mean? So. Ooh, kind of it's a bit tricky, isn't it? I, don't know. I think um, a lot of negativity in that last answer. A lot of hatred. A lot of hatred? Yeah. Okay. May, would I be able to ask one more question? Okay, ask one more quick question, I suppose, because if I was in your position, I wouldn't be able to pick. But let me reiterate. 20th show. Continue. <clears throat> Who has been on the most dating shows? It's kind of a horny answer. Because <laughs> they would win. Oh, well, that kind of... <laughs> But says it all, but, but <laughs> unless Eve has a secret to tell us. Then I guess it's Megan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, finally! Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, Jack, I would ask you, it's kind of um, show policy that if someone ends up with Megan, to refrain from having a restraining order for at least 20 days. <laughs> we're, 20 days. Yeah, because the next season starts in 20 days and we don't want her back. So happy, 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 happy. The rest of your lives. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you carry that mic off, which is thanks, Jack. Now, poor old Eve over here. Come beside me, Eve. I can't even, like, Every show, it. unfortunately, one girl is left. Caitlin. And unfortunately, this week, it's Eve. But you know what? Next week, there will be bigger and better men. And we can ask them the age-old question, would you? <laughs>